Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're returning. I am so excited today to be part of a fall farmhouse collaboration with my very good friend Emily over at Farm Charm Chic. We're going to try to bring you some fall inspiration today. We're going to talk about our collaboration in just a little while, but for now, we're going to jump right into the DIYs. DIY number one. So I got this galvanized bucket over at the Target Dollar Spot for $5.00. We're going to use that and a page out of our new Farm Fresh 2022 calendar. These are the cutest prints, y'all. I absolutely love them. So we're just going to go to the October one. We're going to go ahead and take that page out. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to use the truck of this. So I'm going to, in the scrapbook world, I believe it's called like a fussy cut where you just go around it as close as possible to get the image that you want we are going to cut off the happy harvest and the leaves there but i am going to save those in case i want to use them for another project so again we're just going to cut all around this truck we're going to get it as close to it as we possibly can and y'all this is such a simple project and people are asking for ideas you know what to use these calendars for and this is perfect so now that I've got the, the truck cut out, we're just going to use some of our Mod Podge and we're going to put it on the back of our calendar page. And we are going to glue it directly to our bucket. I just try to line it up as even as I think it is so that it's kind of in the center. And then I'm just smoothing it out with my fingers. There is a little bit of buckling and uh, creasing in this, but I'm okay with that because y'all know I am a farmhouse girl and I like the distressed look. <laughs> so after we get that finished, we're just going to Mod Podge over the top again because this is just a calendar page and just in case it gets wet, we want to make sure it's protected. Next, I just took my Cricut and I went ahead and cut out two decals. One says happy and the other one says harvest. It was good enough for the calendar. It's good enough for my <laughs> bucket. And we are going to just stick those right on there. I'm loving my new Cricut Joy, especially with the traveling. It makes it so much easier than using, taking my gr big Cricut Maker with me everywhere. So if y'all haven't checked out the Cricut Joy, definitely do. It's amazing and I love it. So after we get our decals on there, that's basically it. I did cut out the window because as I was, was Mod Podging, I made a little rip in it. So, you know, but I'm okay with that. I, I love it. And we use this <laughs> to store my husband's little snacks in uh, before for his work day. So let me know what y'all think. So again, today I am collabing with my amazing friend, Emily, over at Farm Charm Chic, and we are bringing you some fall farmhouse decor ideas. If y'all have not checked out Emily, you are totally missing out. She is absolutely amazing. All of her projects are beautiful. I love everything that she does. Y'all, she is such a neat crafter that I can't even believe we're friends because we are polar opposites when it comes to that. She's so neat and I'm so messy. <laughs> but make sure you check out Emily. And when you go over to her channel, make sure you let her know that Missy sent you. Thanks so much, Emily, for collabing with me. I appreciate it. And I love you, my dear friend. Okay, y'all, we're going to go on to DIY number two. So for this one, I just went to the Dollar Tree and got two of their wood trucks. Um, that are in the crafter square section right now and what we're going to do is we're just going to make one truck out of the two to do the middle i'm just using a piece of board that i found at the dollar tree they are selling little pieces of wood now in different shapes and sizes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these stickers off these trucks and y'all they were glued on there now i'm going to take my burnt orange uh, acrylic paint and we are just going to give one good coat on each of these trucks I do the front and the backs because this is going to be an open truck you will be able to see inside so I want to make sure that it has a really finished look so again I go ahead and paint the entire truck both of the entire trucks and then we'll go back through and do a little more detail work on the tires and a couple of other spots so one good coat all the way around on both sides and on both trucks 
Now we're going to take our piece of wood and this piece of wood was the perfect size to fit right in the middle of these two trucks. I paint the top and the sides of that with the burn orange. Now I'm gonna take my black Arteza paint and I'm going to paint the rails of the truck bed and also the tires. I do this on both sides or on both trucks and eventually I do do it on both sides just because it sh you can really see it when you put it out on display and I wanted it to have a really finished look. So again, after I do the fronts, then I go ahead and do the backs later on. I don't think I show you that though. But the same exact thing for each truck, all of the rails and the tires. Y'all know that I do not have a steady hand. So how in the world I managed to get these tires as well as I did, I have no clue. But I was very, very thankful that I did. After we get those all painted, we're going to set those to the side to dry. Now we're going to take some olive green acrylic paint and we're going to paint up this farm fresh sign after we get that painted we are going to go ahead and just put a dab of hot glue on there just run a line through the center of it and we're going to put this on the front of one of the trucks now it's time to put our truck together i'm using this oh, i cannot remember what this glue is called i'll try to find out and put it in my description box and some hot glue and we're just going to run some glue along one of the edges i'm sorry i told you all i painted the edges and i didn't i only painted the top of the board then we're going to set it where it is right underneath the truck rails then we're going to go ahead and turn that over and put some more glue and some more hot glue and we're just going to put our other truck right on top and this just gives us a more i guess what is this three-dimensional possibly I just liked it a lot better than just the one truck. And after that, I take this other small piece of wood that I had laying around and I just go ahead and glue it on the front like a hood. I just thought it needed a little something more. And then I paint that the burnt orange. And y'all, that's it. I decorate it with a few of the small bales of hay that you can get at the Dollar Tree and some pumpkins. Isn't that adorable? And I love that you could switch it out. Even though it's orange, it could still be switched out. DIY number three, we're moving right along. And this is another super simple project. Here are some more pieces of wood that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're just four squares. And I'm going to use a combination of some scrapbook papers. Uh, this one, I'm going to take a couple of quotes out of. One says warm and cozy and the other says hello fall. And then we're going to use some of the uh, plaid papers, uh, some of the border paper. So right now, and all we're going to do basically is Mod Podge these to our pumpkins. Here's the border paper. I use a few. I only show you that I cut out the trucks and something else. I don't remember what I show you, but I end up cutting like three or four of the borders out because I love what they look like and the prints that are on them but again i just take a piece of the of the wood and we go ahead and trace it and cut it out i'm using four different patterns um for the backgrounds one is this orangish yellow plaid and you'll see here as we go and so for right now and then when we get that orange plaid on there we will go ahead and mod podge our hello fall on there and for now i'm just going to let you all see how i'm going to get all of these assembled
As you can see, there was no rhyme or reason in how I did those. I just did what I thought looked good with the patterns, and I absolutely love how these turn out. Now we're going to take four wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree that come in a pack and some Ar Arteza brown paint, and we are just going to paint these up. These are becoming the stems. If you haven't guessed, we are making wood pumpkins. I absolutely love how these turn out, and they were so super, super simple. After we get those painted, uh, I decide I need to do something to the side. So I go through and paint all around all four pumpkins with the burnt orange, which would have been much easier to do before the scrapbook paper was on. But y'all know me. I'm a hot mess and I never do things <laughs> the easy way. But anyway, I did do an okay job on these and I don't think I got paint anywhere it wasn't supposed to be. After that, we're going to take our blocks and we are just going to glue them right in the center of the top of our wood sl pieces, slices, whatever you want to call them. And that is going to become our pumpkin. We're going to do this for all four. Then I decided I needed a little bit more. They weren't quite finished me yet. So I make two bows out of this burlap and orange ribbon from the Dollar Tree and two bows out of what I call the farmhouse ticking ribbon from the dollar tree just simple shoestring bows and then i take some of this greenery that i get from hobby lobby in the wedding section twist it around my finger just to make a little curly cue and then i'm going to glue one on the back of each of the pumpkins up towards the stems there just so they kind of hang over and curly cue up you know what i'm saying <laughs> But we do this on all four of the pumpkins. After that, we go ahead and take those bows. We are going to glue those right onto the front part of the pumpkins. Again, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm loving simple fall uh, decor ideas just because I wasn't a really big fall decorator until YouTube. So I just want something simple and that's just my style. So let me know if you guys like the simple DIYs that I do <laughs> and here you go all four of them you can put them together or make them all go in different places but I love how they turned out DIY number four y'all and our very last DIY for the day this one's another simple one we're taking four of these plaid cutouts um pumpkins I had to think for a minute and we're going to use those we're not even going to mess with those we're just going to add a little decal on them but we're taking another piece of that wood from the Dollar Tree and we are going to paint it an olive green co color then we are going to take uh, our decals that we made and we're going to stick them on our pumpkins I just spelled out the word fall I did mess up the F and have to go back and redo that one my transfer tape just stuck and would not come off and ripped my uh, pumpkin there so but no big deal I had an extra thankfully but we're just going to go through and put an F and A and L and an L and we are just alternating the black and the orange after we get that finished we're going to take four more of those wood blocks and we're going to glue them down on the bottom on the back of each of the pumpkins and these are going to be what holds them to our little piece of wood now we're setting them up the way we want them. I did not want them in a straight line, so I kind of staggered them, but y'all can do this any way you want. You know what I say, this is just for inspiration. You never have to do things exactly like I do. And if y'all ever recreate any of my projects, I would love to see them. You can message me or you can tag me on Instagram at Crafty Cove. So after we get all four of those glued on there, I still don't think it's enough. So I'm going to take some hot glue and some Spanish moss and we are going to go all along the front with the Spanish moss. I say simple and then I add so many small elements. It's still, they're still really simple DIYs, but you know how you decorate things and the finishing touches that you put on them, in my opinion, are what makes your project. Now I'm taking these puffy leaf stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to go ahead and use hot glue because I was afraid they would not stick with just that little adhesive. And I'm going to glue a couple of those on. And then there's a wood piece I glue on and part of a pine cone. And just decorate to your heart's content until you think it looks good. But that's it, y'all. That's all I did. And here is a picture of the final project. I love how this turned out and so cute. 
So y'all, thank you again for joining me today. Thank you to Emily for collaborating with me. I had such a fun time on this. Uh, again, I never decorated for fall until I started YouTube. And now I have went fall crazy and I'm actually loving it. Let me know in the description box what you think of these projects. Again, you all are the best. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would consider subscribing. Don't forget to go visit Miss Emily. I am so thankful for each and are every one of you. Absolutely the best. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now. You hear?